Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Here we are in Salacian Town. Last time we got our national Pokedex and unleashed uh, Cresselia on the world. This time, we're going to try to come up with a strategy to uh, contain Mesford and Cresselia. Before we go head on our way toward uh, Stark Mountain and whatnot. So, my plan involves heading over to uh, Lake Valor. So, here we go. So I'm thinking if we do this, this should help us out a little bit. Just a little, though. Speaking of which, while we're here, didn't someone tell you to not forget to come back here? Well, blow me over! You beat the champion? Now that's something worth writing home about. The name's Morimoto. I've been waiting for a strong trainer like you to come find me. If you've got faith in your own skill, care to join me in a match? Maybe later. Is that so? Well, that's a right shame. Huh. So it looks like you can battle Game Freak here in a game that Game Freak didn't make. Interesting. Hmm. Well, there's always later. That being said, for right now, we're going to do a little bit of surfing here. Oh my goodness. All right, Psyduck, do we are right for a second. All right. So level-wise, this could be an issue for us, but... Oops, why do I keep messing this up? Ah. Alright, I did not mean to run around in the grass right here. We're going to try to poke a radar here. Now, the purpose of this is because we want to find um, a certain Pokemon. That turns out is right here. So, apparently we could also get it at Lake Verity, but... Um, lower level. So, let's do this. Alright. Let's use the Poker Radar. And we are finding Staravia. Okay, I'm not going to try to hunt Staravia right now. So, I am just going to let Staravia go. Intimidate me all you want. Okay, so... Uh, we have 20 more steps. And of course we're running into something. Maybe I should just use, like, a repel. So, this way, you know. Won't get in the way of the Poker Radar. I don't know. The fact is, back in Gen 4, I never really liked the Poker Radar, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I know some people love it. I'm not one of those people. Okay, so we are finding... Chingling. Alright. Now, I know that the spots right- the spaces right next to you, they are unlikely to be the last of the Pokemon that you're chaining, but we're not currently chaining something, so I'm not too worried about that. Four more steps. Okay. 
All right, let's see. And it is Staradia. Okay, we're never gonna find the Wobbuffet, are we? And yes, spoilers, it's a Wobbuffet we're looking for. Mostly because Wobbuffet is, uh, Wobbuffet resists psychic moves and is, um, well, has Shadow Tag, which can be quite invaluable when you're trying to catch, when you're trying to find a Pokemon that can flee. Okay. Can you be a Wobbuffet? Alright, we're finally getting a Wobbuffet. Cool. Alright. Now, it is going to be like 14 levels underleveled uh, compared to the, uh, the legendary Pokemon that are roaming, but still. Um, we'll just see what we can do. Alright, so we are catching Wobbuffet, which is quite nice. In a quick ball. Awesome. Flash is gaining a level. Alright, so Flash, you do not need to evolve. Alright, so Wobbuffet is gonna could potentially be a game changer here for us. It desperately tries to keep its black tail hidden. This behavior is said to be proof that its tail ha hides a secret. All right, so let's call you. Ooh, let's call you Secret. All right. You are calm. You know what? That's actually really good. Okay, so I want to send you the box for right this second. Oh, and by catching it, I guess you break the. Wow. Catching the Pokemon breaks the chain? That's stupid. That is really stupid. Oh my goodness, that is stupid. Oh my goodness, that is stupid. Catching the Pokemon breaks the chain. Well. That sucks. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that really sucks. Okay. So, alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a Pokemon to the team. In this case, it's going to be Secret. Move our Pokemon over here. Yeah, he's brave, okay. Um, so we're gonna add Secret to the team. Um, sorry Aqua, this is just temporary. You know what? Why not just, you know, Throw the Lax Incense on, so we can avoid some hits, maybe. Do we have a Lax Incense? We do. Alright, awesome. Okay. We can use a Repel afterward if it comes down to it. Oh. Alright, let's use a repel right now. So this way the only thing we can find is going to be something over our level. Which in this case will in fact be a legendary. Perfect. Okay. So, let's see. Are you not able to run now? Let's quick fall. There's no way this works, but hey, you never know. Alright, you broke out. 
slash. Okay, you know what? Here you go. Here you go. You're attacking me physically? I'm gonna hit you right back. Take this. Alright. Now, I kind of want to heal up a little bit. While this thing can't flee. Alright. While the Fed is the answer. <laughs> Alright, so. Um. Great ball, I guess. If it was night if it were nighttime, I guess we could have dust balled. The problem is we're gonna have to keep we're gonna have to keep healing because um we are at a low level. So we're not gonna take too many hits. I mean I guess if I trained Wobbuffet a bit, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Moonlight, okay. So that's how it's going to be, Cresselia. That's how it's going to be. Alright. I'll wait for you to attack, then. Pick a counter. Let's try Timer Ball in now. The good thing is Mesprit can't heal itself, so... At least I don't think it can, so we should be in luck there. Alright, so, you know what? I don't think you're gonna Moonlight right now, so... Oh no! You critted me. Alright. Well, the good thing is, we know now that critting is not going to kill. The problem is, we might end up bringing Cresselia down to, uh, to, uh, struggle, which would be a problem. So you critting me is not going to be enough for me to knock you out in the green zone. Alright, let's try timer balling. Come on. Come on! Don't Moonlight. Do not Moonlight. Full para. Finally a full para! That hasn't been happening lately. Alright, Timer Ball. Like, also the Paralysis also extends its moves a bit. Double full para. Let's go. Alright. So yeah, when it comes to, to catching the uh, roaming legendaries, Get a Wobbuffet. Like, seriously. Get a Wobbuffet. Do I have, like, a max potion or something? I do, but I don't really want to use it. It's gonna be a Moo Mill. Alright. But I'm not even kidding. Wobbuffet is actually good <laughs> for this. Um, this is a bit costly because I am switching between Pokeballs and, um, healing items. But, once again, if you were to train your Wobbuffet to be at a higher level than Cresselia, you'll probably be good to go. Alright, so it's gonna Moonlight now. I'm just afraid that if it, crit if we if it crits us with a Slash... Um, that will kill it. I don't want to kill it. Come on. There we go! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, Secret, you are quite amazing. You deserve that level, Secret. Let's go! So Cresselia's data is added to the Pokedex. 
When it flies, it releases shiny particles from its veil-like wings. It is said to represent the crescent moon, the lunar Pokemon Cresselia. Alright, so let's call you... Luna. Alright, so let's actually take a look at your stats. You are hardy, so nice and neutral. Not too bad. You still have one Moonlight left. So you were really running out. Plus you had Safeguard, which wouldn't have helped you once you already were paralyzed. But yeah. Um, we did actually manage to catch Cresselia. Alright. See, strategizing works. What can I say? When you build a strategy, good things happen. Alright, so Mesford is right at right where we just were, but I gotta heal up. Also, I kind of want to buy more Moo Moo Milk. Maybe need more Timer Balls? I don't know. But, that's how we do it. Catching Cresselia in a Timer Ball. Let's go. Here we go. Hello, Mesprit. Mesprit, I want to introduce you to my uh, my newest secret weapon. Meat secret. Meat secret. Alright, let's try a quick ball. Maybe we'll catch you in a quick ball. I highly doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Alright, you're breaking out. You're gonna psychic us. We resist it, but it's going to hurt a little bit. Don't spit F drop. Okay. Uh... Okay, I can't really do anything else right now. I can't Timer Ball yet. I guess I'll hurl Great... I could try hurling Ultra Balls, I guess, but... Alright, so this that was turn two, and this is turn three. Come on. Come on. Alright, Psychic. It's gonna hurt. And you got the Spidef drop. That actually sucks. Alright, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna let you take me down then. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I'm gonna let you take down Secret. I'm gonna get a Nuzzle off. Try to get you into the red zone. Try again. Plus this play- okay. You're imprisoning, interesting. Alright. Okay. Extra sensory, that will kill. I have zero doubts. Crit did not matter, we were at minus one spadaf. That's fine. So, the name of the game now is hit nozzle. Barring a crit, which I don't, I don't even think a crit would kill at this point, but let's nozzle. I know we outspeed. Get you in the red. Didn't even get you in the red. Alright, you're gonna flee. That's fine. Alright, I want to get one more nozzle off then. Okay, I have no reason to use Repel right now. Okay. Come on, Mesprit. Okay, you know what? I guess I might as well heal up while we're here. I mean, Secret did faint. Kind of cruel for me not to heal right now. So, yeah. Um, I kind of want to get Mesprit into the uh, red zone before I actually um, try to catch it again. I also want to buy some more Moo Moo Milk. So, here we go. I think 20 of them should be enough. 
because they're a lot cheaper than pretty much any other option for healing items. Or at least to do at least 100 health. Eh, let's get another 100, another 10. Why not? Might as well, uh, might as well splurge a little bit. Okay, that's still Route 210, so let's go here, maybe? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go down here, then. Alright, Mesprit, come on. Just move somewhere. Come on. The goal is we just want to find Mesprit in one, contain Mesprit in one place. Come on. This is purely luck based, what can I say? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Let's try going up here. Maybe we'll get lucky and it goes back. Nope. No such luck. Seriously, game? Alright, perfect. Alright, let's go from one nozzle. Here it is! Mespert has appeared! Okay, so... All we gotta do is one nozzle, don't crit. Nozzle. Although it is Zapply boosted, so... Alright, there we go, and goodbye, Mespert. Okay, cool. Alright, perfect. It is now in the red zone, which means... Secret can hopefully handle it now. Alright, I'm thinking that it's going to take a while before we find it again. But, at least we'll be able to actually have a chance of catching it the next time we find it. So that's a plus. Hmm. Perfect. Alright. Let's repel, and now we find Mesprit. Let's go. You're in the red zone, you can't flee. You're paralyzed. Come on. This is our chance. Secret, take two. Let's go. Let's start with a quick fall. Maybe we get really lucky and actually cast it with a quick fall. Who knows? You never know. Our goal is to get this battle. Okay, not even. No shakes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, you're gonna imprison us. I don't care. I do not care. Alright. At this point, we just want this battle to last long enough for us to timer ball without you running it into struggling. No struggling allowed. Alright, we're catching an Ultra Ball. Turn two. Let's go! Let's go! Secret for the win! Mesprit's data is added to the Pokedex. It's known as the being of emotion. It taught humans the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. Alright, so let's call you. Um. 
Uh, um, I don't know. Let's call you feeling. Nah, I don't like that. Let's call you emote. All right, let's go. And you are mild. You know what? That's that's not bad. That is not bad. But with that, we got ourselves Mesprit. No Master Ball necessary. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so you know what? Secret, you have been amazing, all right? You really have. But with that, I am going to be adding Aqua back to our team. But Secret, you really have been quite, quite the teammate here. But with that, we got both Mesprit and Cresselia. All right. So yeah, um, if you get a uh, Wobbuffet from Lake Valor, I don't recommend going to Lake Verity for it. But if you get it from Lake Valor, it'll be strong. It won't. Be, it'll be weaker than both of them, but it'll be strong enough so um, they won't be able to kill it right away. You might even be able to do a little bit of weakening with it. Just be careful with it because it's very unpredictable based on how much damage they do to you. So just keep that in mind. But, there we go. Um. Well, you know what? I guess we might as well do some digging. But there we go. We got two more legendary Pokemon. Let's go underground. Alright, we're not near anywhere we can dig, but eh, somewhat near. Let's see if we can find any mysterious uh, things that we can trade in Romanus Park. Ah, uh, this is just a spear. Anything else? Small blue spear, and that's it. Okay, so nothing of interest, just a couple red, blue, and green spears. I'll take it. It's something. It's at least something. Alright. Well... Got a box. We got a statue from there, at least. If nothing else. Alright, so once again, nothing all that interesting. It's gonna be a plain statue. But hey, you know, statues are still cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they are. Who knows? Flygon! Okay. Flygon's a cool Pokemon, not gonna lie. All right, so let's go in here and then get out of here. All right. Can we get something cool here? Eh, revive. Eh, better than nothing. 
Got a box. Nope, we're not getting the rest of the blue uh, shard, but that's okay. I don't really need a blue shard anyway. We came close to getting the blue shard, though, admittedly. Okay, so it's a steel type box. Bastiodon statue! Okay. So far, I'm not noticing anything all that different than what we had before we got the National Pokedex down here. But hey, you know, you, you never know. Maybe we'll. We still could find other stuff, I suppose. Ooh, okay, we have two places we can dig. Alright. Let's do this. Well. Nope, nothing, or just the box. Well, we're getting at least a grass statue, even if it's nothing all that special about it. So... Alright. Another box. Well, we're not getting a whole lot here, are we? Nope. Just a box. That sucks. Alright. And this box has what in it? Miss Magius, okay. Well, that's sad. I'm starting to think we're never gonna get a chance to do anything in Romanus Park. Sad thought, but you know. I don't know, I feel like the more they try to push stuff into the, like, they try to make the stuff in the underground a rare bone. Well, we could sell it. The more they try to make the underground relevant, the more they kind of take away its charm as, like, an extra activity. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But I'll take a rare bone. Alright, so I'm thinking we're not going to find what we're looking for. Okay, let's continue digging then. Ah, oh, there's a fossil at least. Helix fossil. else can we find? Nothing. Alright, but hey, you know what? We got a Helix Fossil, at least. I'll take it. Another Ammonite. Although, admittedly, we have an Ammonite. We could always, you know, breed, but eh, I'll still pick a Helix Fossil. Yellow shard. Uh, 
Oh, this is the box. Yeah, we're not finding the last thing, unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. We got a box, we got a yellow shard, and we got a green spear. Okay. I'll take what I can get. Charizard statue? Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Alright, four things in the wall. Eh, yeah, hard scale. Oh, wow, we just happened to hit that thing. Alright, so cool. We are gonna get a big one, a small one, a blue one, and a hard scale. Alright, cool. So, um... Not finding anything all that interesting here, I suppose, but... We are getting something, at least, for our efforts. Okay, so let's... In, out, hello, Tauros. Fancy seeing you there. That's different. I guess encounters did change? Ooh. Better box. Okay, let's go. So we got a cool fairy box. That's something. Got two small spheres and a uh, gorgeous stone box. So that is going to give us, ooh, a colored Tokika statue. Nice. I will take it. Hello, I'm Perdita. Okay. Cool. All right. That is a blue sphere. Are we just not going to find anything we can take? Can dig out. All right, we're done. Yep, we're not getting that green sphere. That's okay. It's a small sphere anyway. It's not the end of the world. Okay. She's not the end of the world. But it is good to know that. Um, at least things are a little different than they were before the before we got the national decks now. Is there anything trap pinches here? Acnea. All right, so there's different stuff down here. So that's well, different encounters. That's got to count for something. All right. So now there's a lot of places we can dig right here. So let's do some digging. Whoa. I think that's one of those mystery pieces. I think we just found what we're looking for. Alright, we only got one, but hey, that's a start. With so that, we got a mysterious shard, a small mysterious shard, and a green shard. Okay. Cool. 
So, we gotta keep looking for these then, I guess. Well. So we are getting a fighting box and a red sphere. Big one, but still a red sphere. Cool. I think we can do it. Ooh, Lucario. Alright, Lucario statue. I will take it. I will certainly take it. Let's do a little more digging. This is the last one. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so we got another statue. And a blue sphere. Small one, but still. Alright, and in this box is a statue of Steelix. Alright. Cool. Anything interesting? <gasps> Furret! Furret! Hello there, buddy! How are you doing? How are you doing? Cuteness overload. Furret and Pachirisu. <laughs> Oh my goodness, alright. Let's quick fall. Critical capture, let's go! Let's go! We got a ferret! I love this entrance line. Alright, Squires is even gaining a level there. Nice. The mother puts its offspring to sleep by curling up around them. Corners foes with speed. The long body Pokemon. Alright, okay, obviously. Call you Dexter. And. Brave. That's actually. That's actually not awful. It's not great, but not bad, per se. I mean. Get Sucker Punch. Well, we're being chased. Pupitar. You know what? You know what? We could get a Tyranitar. We could have a Tyranitar. Alright. Let's do this. Because you're already over level 50 anyway. You are over level 50, so you know what? Perfect. Let's go! We got a Pupitar. We could have a Pseudo. We could have a Pseudo Legendary now. One level. One level and we got a level 60 Pseudo Legendary. Let's go. Alright, so Pablo, you're not evolving. But, you know what? Having a Tyranitar, that could be cool. Its body is as hard as, a be as bedrock. By venting pressurized gas, it can launch itself like a rocket. All right, so let's call you, um, uh, hmm, Tar. You are lax. That's, uh, eh. Not bad, per se, but not great. Still. Alright, let's go back up. But that's really cool. We can get we can get non Sinnoh Dex Pokemon now in the underground. And is it really sunny here? Is that normal? Or am I just, like... Maybe I'm just used to the underground at this point. I don't know. But, we still got stuff to do.
So at this point, I don't think we can fly here. All right, but at this point, we have uh, started catching some legendaries. That being said, let's go. Let's go to the fight area. Actually, I don't know why I chose the fight area, but. That's okay. Alright, here we are at 2.30. That being said, I guess next time we're going to continue exploring the post-game of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond here in the Sinnoh region. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time as we continue our adventure. Goodbye.